This is the 45th annual Members Juried Art Exhibition and any member of artistry is eligible to apply for the exhibition. My name is Trisha Hearing and I am a Minneapolis-based curator and an organizer and an educator and um, I'm the co-founder of Public Functionary. It's a Northeast Minneapolis-based arts organization. This year 244 pieces were submitted by 120 members and 78 pieces by 78 members were selected. There are also 11 award winners. When jurying the entire show, I'm really just looking for pieces that demonstrate a commitment to practice. I think that you can tell through the way that the works are executed, how much time that artist has spent working through the medium, through their composition. I really also look for things that are interesting and, and pieces that are taking risks. As a curator, I'm always looking for an artwork that I've never seen before or a new sort of spin on something I have seen before. And then I'm also looking for works that I think will allow the audience to be moved, whether that is through the way that the artist was able to transform a medium or through the subject matter that they've chosen to represent. In selecting the winners, I'm really looking for pieces that stand out with the overall exhibition. I think juried exhibitions always really depend on the juror, and so I would say that depending on who is in that position at that time, you know, you can't really detach from their lens and their bias. And so I think that while I hope to represent a range of pieces in the awards, the pieces that were selected are also reflective of my perspective, sort of what I'm looking for in art at this moment, the narratives that stand out to me. A lot of the things that I chose were reflective of the last year and a half, the pandemic that we've been through, the uprisings, and, and a lot of the things that have been happening socially. And so I think that if you look at some of the, um, at most of the award winners, there's some tie back to the moment that we're in and, and what it is that we're experiencing. I find those to be works that are really impactful and allow us to reflect on what it is we're experiencing in this time.